So in this problem, we need to explain why transition metal elements can have multiple oxidation state, whereas the main group elements can have only a single oxidation state. So from the definition of oxidation state, we know that the oxidation state is the number of charge on a single atom or ion. So for example, if you write Cl minus, that means that this chlorine, this chlorine atom has one negative charge on it. And if we like write magnesium two plus, that means this, this magnesium ion has two positive charges on it. And this charges means that how how many electrons they have received or donated um, in their or from their outermost shell or valence shell. So in case of this magnesium, it has donated two electrons to get this plus two oxidation state. And this chlorine has received one electron in its outermost shell to become Cl minus. So this main group elements they have a very specific number of electrons in their outermost shell which they can um, and that and that's why they actually can have only a single oxidation number like uh, this mg2 plus um, if you just want to make it mg3 plus by uh, removing one more electron from its electronic shell it will take a very high amount of energy and that's why we cannot uh, make an mg3 plus ion similarly in case of chlorine if you would like to give this chlorine one more electron and you would like to make it cl2 minus this will take a huge amount of energy and and that's why it's not possible in general but in case of the uh, 3d in case of the uh, in case of the transition metal elements um, they have unpaired electrons in their d orbitals or we can say that degenerate d orbitals that means that um, they have unpaired electrons of similar energies which they can easily get rid of to have multiple oxidation state we we are considering manganese as a as an example here which has 25 electrons and manganese uh, have an electron configuration of this same same electric configuration up to argon and then it has 3d5 and 4s2 so if we write this electron in the box form this is our 4s2 box and here is our um, 3d box and we know that uh, we have five degenerate d orbitals and 4s has only one orbital where two electrons lie in opposite spin and and in the uh, d orbitals uh, manganese has five unpaired electron so when when it is forming a compound it can either get rid of uh, this 2,4s electron to become Mn2 plus or it can get rid of any of these or all of these uh, D, D electrons to become Mn3 plus by just getting rid of 2,4s um, and 1,3d or can become Mn4 plus by getting rid of this 2,4s and two of the 3d and all the way up to mn7 plus by getting rid of or donating all these seven electrons and that's why the transition metal elements can have multiple oxidation state because they have uh, degenerate d orbitals where they have multiple one or more um, unpaired electrons which they can donate easily and can have a multiple oxidation state.